Hey everyone, we are cruising through the last two weeks of our training cycle here. Let's do one more jump rope entry here. Uh, we've learned about this side, and we've learned how to do the cross. Today let's finish it with the double under. Double under is just like it sounds when you pass the rope under the feet twice in a single jump. I'll show you two ways to do this. <clears throat> one way works, but it's not very good. The other way is a much more uh, sustainable double under but it's harder, so there's a trade-off. Double under, the, the <coughs> key to double under on the hand side is to take the rope and you're really flicking it. Kind of imagine like you have a, a knife or a sword and you're just you know stabbing it. That's how you want to feel, because that's going to generate the speed to get the two passes. So that's where the power comes from. The only thing your legs have to do is get out of the way. Now let me show you the bad way. In this way, I'm going to suck my legs really high, so watch my feet. And what happens there is you'll usually successfully make the first pass, but you've lost your rhythm. You usually have a nice, you know, tack, 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 jumping rhythm, and then you interrupt it with a boing as the legs suck up, and it throws everything off. You land kind of strange, and then you try to recover, and you usually trip. So a much better double under technique is to keep the legs nice and straight. And that means that you need to really punch through the floor and get some good height while not doing the leg suck to cheat the, the move. So let's see how that looks. I'll do it without the rope first. Pop. Pop. So it's a little extra kick. Now add the rope in. You know, start to get some nice clean double unders. Here we go. And you might occasionally have to do a little bit of a foot suck uh, if you miss your timing, but most of the time you can just add those into the routine without causing a bunch of mayhem. All right, if you want to get really good double unders, you need some uh, kind of a speed rope. These are, this is a weighted rope, it's really heavy. Uh, so it's hard to do multiple double arms in a row just because the arms can't keep the speed up. So if you really like these, go for a thinner rope with a wire. All right, I'll get to my jump rope now and see you on the next vlog.